Welcome back, everyone. 12 Sports journalist Lena Washington is here to talk about the D-backs still stinging from that horrible loss last night in Game 5 of the World Series. But we take a look at how they're getting ready for next season and how they were constructed this year, Lena. Yeah, a lot for this team and the Valley to be proud of. But the blue confetti has settled in the Diamondbacks, as you see. They've cleaned out their lockers in the clubhouse. The season came to an end a lot later than most people expected, but it ended with the sting of losing and being shut out in a World Series Game 5 at home. 12 Sports journalist Cameron Cox is checking in with General Manager Mike Hazen today. You know, if there's one person who wasn't in the mood to talk after the World Series, it was GM Mike Hazen. While he is extra thankful for the ride and the journey, there are some regrets. Yeah, I have a lot of regrets. Yeah. It's kind of painful to sit here and talk about this after getting bounced from the World Series and feeling like what happened in Game 4 isn't 100% on me. Ah, the dreaded bullpen game. D-backs losing 11-7. to Bullpen gave up 10 runs before the third inning. D-backs did not have a fourth starter in the playoffs, but it wasn't because of lack of effort at the trade deadline. We added at the deadline. It wasn't like we just sat there with our thumbs and didn't do anything, but we didn't do enough. I chased every starting pitcher in the free agent market. The cost was pretty expensive. Do not regret not trading Alec Thomas or Brandon Fott. I wouldn't have done that again today. Those guys are staying, so who's coming? We know we have a lot of work to do. We know there are areas of our team that we want to try to improve. This run of 30 days was highlighted some of our best baseball. I think the 84 wins during the regular season highlighted some of the areas where I feel like we need to, we, I need to make improvements, um, that we need to make improvements to be even better next year. And when it comes to upgrading this roster, it's going to come down to two things. They need a power hitting right-handed bat and another starting pitcher with quote, some experience. He has to be an established guy, which means the D-backs are going to have to spend some money this offseason. With the D-backs, Cameron Cox, 12 Sports.